There are two major criteria for infective endocarditis. The first is a positive blood culture for endocarditis. This criteria is established in one of three ways. If typical microorganisms consistent with infective endocarditis are found on two separate blood cultures, if blood cultures are persistently positive, or if a single blood culture is positive for Coxiella burnetti, or phase 1 IgA antibody titers greater than 1 to 800. The second major criteria is evidence of endocardial involvement. This criteria is established in one of two ways. If an echocardiogram detects a vegetation, an abscess, or new partial dehiscence of a prosthetic valve, or if there is new valvular regurgitation. There are five minor criteria for endocarditis. A predisposing factor such as IV drug use or a predisposing heart condition, a temperature of greater than 38 degrees Celsius, vascular phenomena such as major arterial emboli, mycotic aneurysm, and Janeway lesions, immunologic phenomena such as Osler nodes, Roth spots, and positive rheumatoid factor. And finally, microbiologic evidence such as a positive blood culture not meeting a major criterion or serologic evidence of an active infection with an organism known to cause infective endocarditis. A definite diagnosis of infective endocarditis can be made with one of three combinations of the criteria mentioned. Two major criteria, one major and one minor criteria, or all five minor criteria. The diagnosis is considered possible if one major and one minor criteria are met, or if three minor criteria are met. The diagnosis is rejected if only two minor criteria or less are present.